The arrival car takes into consideration the environment and the user experience for both drivers and passengers. The vehicle features great visibility and comfort, with leg room twice as large as that of an average car of the same length. It also addressed the global need to shift ride hailing and car sharing services over to electric to reduce emissions and improve air quality in cities. Stay tuned. This is Gadgets and Widgets. looks like something out of the movies. We've been working really closely with Uber drivers to understand exactly what it is that we can do to radically improve how a car can function for a, a ride hail driver. So think of this as the ideal car for an Uber driver. This is the Alpha prototype, so this is the first version of the arrival car. You saw the sketches and the designs. It is a fully working prototype. We now use this to go and do testing and continue the design into what we call Gamma, which is the next stage of development. That is what we're working on nice. next. Nice. The shape at the front is um, yeah. smoother. Looking good, Tom. Can I get in? Why don't we first of all just walk around it? Nice. I noticed you kept the flat bit on the steering wheel. We talked a lot about that in we the did. last meeting, right? That's right, yeah. It's really pretty. Fabulous. Yeah, look at the roof. <laughs> One of the things that we wanted to do was to move the driver as far forward as we can in the vehicle. This means that visibility can be radically improved versus any other car on the market. Come and have a go. Thank you. <laughs> I like the big window. Yeah? I do. I love it. I love that I, can, I feel like I can see everything. The driver position is elevated, so the sensation of visibility that you get here with this huge windscreen is, is phenomenal. It, it feels like I'm outdoors. It's great. The overall footprint of the whole car is the same as the Volkswagen Golf, but as you can see, one of the big design features that we've really strived for is in the back of the car is massive. Is massive. The passenger legroom in the back of the car is actually greater than a Rolls-Royce. We've designed this in such a way that the front passenger seat can fold down and then can be moved as far forward as possible under the dashboard. And that creates this incredible sensation of space in the back row. This infinity roof is fabulous. Yeah. And that feeling that I am up here, they're back there. There is a sense of separation. That's great for them. So why don't we test it out as a, as a passenger? Okay, yeah. go for it, Look at those long legs. That's great space. First impressions, what do you think? What do you notice? Uh, I love this. It, it, this is beautiful. Yes, yeah. it really, the view is amazing. I think that's very sexy. Isn't it? And that, that goes down and disappears. Uh, there we go. Move that out of the way. Mm -hmm. The idea is to have space oh. for leg room, cargo. Plenty. If you have a small bag, you're going to the airport, for example, you could bring the bag in and place it in here. There's plenty of room to do that and you don't need to use the boots. Let's have a look. So this is as large as they come usually. Yeah. There we are. That's the boot is designed to be able to accommodate two large suitcases and a couple of small ones as well. That's it. We fit. There you are. Problem solved. Let's talk about the experience for the driver. The design we were going for is just super minimal. Ergonomic, Everything yeah. that you can do, you do through the display. Mm -hmm. When you, you think of what a normal car has in terms of dials so many bells and, and gadgets and gizmo, yeah. and, and this is just I mean, really but this strict is, is what we need. The climate control, Bluetooth, the phone connection, it's all configured through here. But the really interesting thing with this is there's an opportunity with a ride hail company like to make use of this display. So you could imagine this as being something where when you start your trip, you could see the name and photograph of both the driver and the passenger and use it as a, a moment for connection. So we're on our way to Piccadilly. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so comfy. Right. It's nice. As our Alpha prototype, the purpose of this vehicle is really to realise the vision from the initial design going into the next stage of the vehicle. We build a series of prototypes to ensure that we've properly tested and prepared before it goes into production. 
It's great. You know, this technology is the future. It's the future, Charles. You understand me. Yeah. <laughs> Time. Pleasure, Tom. Thanks Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank this you. Thanks fun. for coming I'm again. Excited.